workshop. My name is Catherine, and today I'm going to teach you to build a circuit that can power a motor. Ready? Let's get started. The circuit that we're building today has three parts. A battery pack to run the motor, a motor to do the running, and a button so we can control when the motor is turned on and when it's not. Before we begin, make sure that the battery pack you're using is switched from off to on. Okay, now to start, let's attach the motor directly to the battery pack, red to red and blue to blue. Cool, now the motor's running, but it's running all the time. Let's see if we can disconnect the blue wires so we can add our button to the circuit. Neat! Now the motor only runs when we press the button. But wait a minute, why does the motor only run when we press the button? What about the button has made our circuit different? Let's see if we can figure it out. Engineers know that circuits are run by electricity, which can only flow through a closed loop of wires. A lot of times, when engineers have problems to solve, they draw a picture to help them figure it out. So let's draw a picture of the two circuits that we built. Here's our first circuit. We have the battery represented by two lines and the motor, which is represented by an M in a circle. Electricity flows out the battery through the blue wire, through the motor, through the red wire, and back to the battery. Remember, electricity can only flow through a closed circuit. Great, now let's see what happens when we add our button to the circuit. See how the button is represented by a gap in the loop? That's because the button actively prevents the flow of electricity by breaking the circuit. When the button is pressed, the circuit is closed and the motor can run again. Cool, right? See, learning about engineering can be fun sometimes. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. And remember to keep building and send any pictures of your design to mydesign at ruminatetoy.com. See you next time!